Hi everyone, this is Sabina from Origami and today let's look at six essential sites every SharePoint intranet should have. If you're building an intranet and not sure what pages you need and what goes onto these pages, this video is for you. We've sampled hundreds of intranet sites for this video, so you're getting original designs that have been tried and tested. These templates are made with Origami SharePoint intranet solution. So, if you're interested in setting them up in your Microsoft 365 environment, check out the video description below to see how you can get them. Alright, let's get to our templates. Template number one, SharePoint homepage. The homepage gets almost 80% of all intranet visits. Since so many people see this page, it cannot be just a placeholder. Instead, it needs to be helpful and give employees what they need most. Here's an example of the homepage that does this well. The welcome here is personalized and below the welcome, you get quick access to the most used company applications. As we scroll down, we can see a targeted resource library. Unlike general SharePoint search that returns just about anything you have access to, this directory helps find forms and templates policies and links to resources. It can also be personalized based on employer role and permission level. Next, we have company news and events. This can be pulled from different sites on the intranet and can be also targeted to specific user roles. Next to the news, there is a month view calendar to help employees see the company wide events and RSVP them right from the same page. You can even have these events color-coded based on their category to help employees find them. Next, we have a staff directory with a search and customizable filters to help employees find their colleagues within seconds. And the homepage is wrapped up with a feedback form to help collect employee ideas about how to improve their experience. Now let's go to the next essential intranet site the employee and boarding site. Having an employee and boarding site on your intranet will save HR countless hours in responding to questions and requests from new hires. This will also reduce new employee and boarding anxiety, which, by the way, is a leading cause of new employee turnover. Things you see here, like IT support, onboarding roadmap, and HR contacts are so helpful just recall how confusing things might have been for you when you started. Here is, for example, a detailed breakdown of each onboarding stage and an overview of what to expect in the first months. This isn't something that you need to invent. Your HR team probably already has all this information locked in their heads or documents. We're just simplifying access to what's already there, making it a bit more useful. The calendar shows employee onboarding events like HR orientation and meet and greet coming from the event list on the site. As we scroll further, there is a searchable directory with relevant files like a welcome package, NDAs, payroll, and benefits and tax forms. This can be targeted to different user groups if needed. Next, there is a section for meeting new hires. This is where employees can learn about their colleagues and what's their story, so the whole team feels a bit more connected. And if new employees have questions, they can reach out to key contacts from the HR team shown here, or leave their comments in the form below to help make their boarding site even better over time. So that's Unborn. Now let's look at the third essential intranet template, the payroll and benefits site. Payroll and Benefits is the second most visited site on the SharePoint intranet. It helps answer questions about pay, expenses, holidays, and you guessed it, employee benefits. Things like dental, 401k, employee assistance, and retirement planning resources can all be here with links to files or pages that have more details. So you don't have to recreate anything. Just make a one-stop shop for these resources. This Netflix-like carousel below can promote trending or seasonal campaigns 
For example, a 30-day walking challenge in summer or a benefits guide webinar. A bit further, we have links to other resources like expense policies and employee discounts. If you have any partnerships with the hotels, uh, gym memberships, or credit card programs. And if employees want to know the pay schedule and company holidays, they can also find this here in this color-coded calendar. This calendar can already decrease many emails coming to a payroll team, but what can help even further is having an FAQ section with the most commonly asked questions like what you see here. If there are too many FAQs, which we see some companies have, you might even have a dedicated page for those, and you can call it, how do I? Feedback form is always a good practice. So feedback is going to a list and does not rely on an individual mailbox. So this was the payroll and benefits. Now let's go to essential template number four, careers and training site. This is the site where employees can refine their career paths within the company. This is where they get the answer to questions like, what training do I need to become, for example, a trainer or a supervisor? You can include links to online courses like LinkedIn Learning or an LMS portal if you have one. As we scroll down, you see here we have a list of internal job openings so employees can apply and fill these positions before you spend money on external recruiting. These openings can be as simple as SharePoint pages with job descriptions, an email to send an application, or you can link them to an applicant tracking portal if you have one. If you have formal job descriptions, you can make them available here so employees can learn what skills are needed for their next internal career move. This also adds transparency during performance reviews because managers can open up a job description and use it as a guide. You likely already have these resources, but they might be scattered. We're just making a home for them so they can be seen easily. Just like before, this FAQ section can help clear most common questions like, how does this employee referral program work? And just like with other templates, this one is wrapping up with a feedback form to ensure the site stays up to date with employee feedback. This was the careers and training side. And now let's jump to essential template number five, department team side. Department team sites are different from other intranet sites because they keep restricted documents and assets only accessible to members of that department. Legal may keep executed agreements and claims on their site. Finance may keep a year-end audit reports. HR may keep personnel files and finalize performance reviews. Here's an example of the HR team hub. Below the welcome, we have a bulletin board used to post announcements for the HR team members. Things like recruiting campaign announcements might go here. You might also want to keep an absence calendar so everyone knows whose holidays are coming up. This calendar can be updated from a shared Outlook group or a SharePoint list. Next, we have a one-stop shop for HR-related forms and templates. This directory is linked to a private document library on the site, so no one else would have access to these files. Finally, we have a calendar with team meetings and a project progress dashboard. In my example, I used Origami's custom code web part to add a dashboard from ClickUp, but this can be a chart or a tracker from most other tools. So that's a department side example. Let's now look at our last essential template, mission, vision, and values page. Every SharePoint intranet we've worked on has a page outlining company's mission, vision, values, and company KPIs. It's different from a news carousel on the homepage because these items don't change often. So who uses this page? It's often used for onboarding to introduce new hires to the company and its leadership. It's also used to post company strategic objectives like key business transformation initiatives. In this template, 
Company values are listed right below the top banner, and as we go down, there is a timeline with the company's key strategic activities and KPIs for high-level goals. When I click these collapsible sections, I can see more details. The page ends with an introduction to a leadership team and their messages to employees in a full company org chart. As with other examples, I recommend only adding content you already have and not invent anything new. The goal is to keep this page simple and useful. And look at that. This was the last of our six essential templates for a SharePoint intranet. Now that you've seen all of these templates, you can probably already recognize that much of the content feeding these pages you might already have. We just created a more intuitive place for it. We also dressed up a lot of our pages with powerful tools that make the whole internet experience more personalized and easier to use. These tools include origami web parts and they can be mixed and matched with any out-of-the-box web parts, almost like Lego blocks, to create unique designs. We also find it's useful to discuss what goes onto your intranet with other department managers like comms, HR, and IT. This will help everyone to be on the same page and will confirm that all the great content you want to put on your intranet actually exists or can be created. To bring everyone on the same page, you can organize a small workshop where at the end you'll get a sitemap with what your entire company internet will have and who will be assigned to manage parts of it. Here's an example of an internet sitemap I used to create templates for this video. It's very simple but gives a full picture of where everything goes so I know what pages, lists, and libraries I should create for every site and what SharePoint navigation labels I'll have. If you want to know how to create a similar map for your company, check our SharePoint Internet Plan article in the video description below. This site map is something we actively help our clients with. So that's it for today. Stay tuned for the next few videos where I'll show you how to build these templates from scratch. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.